So Polkadot and Kusama are these multi-chain meta protocols that are connecting multiple blockchains together. And each of these blockchains is called a parachain that can be customized for a specific purpose. In order to launch on Polkadot or on Kusama, you need to win an auction against other teams to earn a slot on the network. These parachain auctions essentially is just multiple teams bidding against each other in an auction to win a slot on Kusama. And these slots can last for up to 48 weeks. It's like a lease. Why is this important? Because it creates skin in the game for blockchains launching on Kusama instead of in ICOs where anyone can just launch any token. It reduces the risk of scams because everyone gets back their original principal after the 48 week slot is over. And it encourages community token distribution. The tokens that are contributed to the crowd loan and parachain auction are never touched by the team. They're locked in the Kusama relay chain for the duration of the slot. This changes the ICO model quite a bit because it creates accountability on the team. Um, it allows you to get the KSM principle back, like I mentioned. The team doesn't touch any funds, so it's much safer. Um, the, the team can't run away. And the only trade-off is that you have to unstake your funds in order to, to contribute to one of the crowd loans. Parachain slot auctions are kind of like the World Cup. Imagine there's five slots next to the World Cup stadium. They would be super in demand and, and expensive to, to get. So they're Let's imagine there's a bidding war in the parking lot for those slots and the pink Range Rover wins the slot. This is the same thing that happens in crowd loans and parachain auctions where there's a crowd loan to raise funds. There's a parachain auction, which is the bidding. The biggest event is this gold star here, which is the end of the auction when the winner is chosen. Then whoever wins that auction will move on to um, launch on Kusama and then hold that slot for a duration of 48 weeks. Parachain auctions. You can actually bid in the auction in two ways. You can, number one, be have a single account, be a whale, and, and bid all the KSM you want on your own. Number two is doing a crowd loan, which is probably the more common way, which was is a way to in, involve your community and raise KSM from the community in order to use in the auction. These auctions will happen every two weeks um, for probably the foreseeable future, so it's quite important to learn what's going on with these events. The crowd loan is the second option that I just mentioned, and this is used for the auction bid. So when you raise KSM as a team, you can use that as your opening bid in the crowd loan. The tokens are locked for the duration of the um, lease period, um, but teams can de decide what they want to do. So for Karura, um, the DeFi hub launching on Kusama, 30% of the distribution to supporters will be liquid and 70% will vest over the 48-week period. 48 week period. Um, the original tokens um, are contributed to the relay chain itself and they'll be returned at the end of the 48 week slot. And like I said, the, the tokens are never touched by the team. So this is what happens in a crowd loan. The community contributes KSM to multiple um, parachain teams. Then within the parachain slot auction, each team can use what they raised in that crowd loan and use that as their opening bid. Um, as the parachain auction continues, the crowd loan actually stays open, so people will continue contributing to each of these parachain teams over the duration of that slot auction until the end. During the auction, it's, a, it's called a candle auction, so there's this opening period and, and an ending period, and during that ending period, um, any, at any moment the winner could be chosen, but we don't find that out until the end. So you can see here this known close time. This is when the auction ends, and at that moment, the Kusama code will randomly generate a block. And at that block during the ending period, whoever has the highest bid will win. So in this case, it's Parachain A with 55,000 KSM. Here's the full summary of what I just explained. You start with the crowd loan. You raise KSM from the community. The Parachain uses that. Let's assume Karura raises um, KSM, KSM in our crowd loan and we win the auction. Then we would go on to launch on Kusama, distribute our native token KAR um, at a ratio of at least 12 to one um, to Kusama. That would get distributed to the original contributors who contributed KSM. And their KSM that they contributed would get locked in the Kusama relay chain. Then at the same time, Karura would launch on Kusama, earn that slot that we the whole point of doing this auction, and then we would hold that slot for 48 weeks. Then at the end of 48 weeks, like I mentioned, um, one of the best parts of crowd loans is that the original principle of the contributors is returned to them um, at the end of the period. And then when the team needs to renew their lease, they have three options. They can either do another crowd loan 48 weeks later, 
they can self-fund um, in, in the next parachain auction that, that they need to contribute to or, or compete in. In Akala and Karura's case, we have a sovereign wealth fund on chain that we're going to be building up in order to self-fund um, future parachain auctions. And then the third option, um, you can downgrade to what's called a parathread, which is more of a pay-as-you-go model instead of the parachain. And that's it. Thank you. Bye.